happy friday y'all so i'm in the car right now on my way to get i don't know i think i'm gonna go to bath and body works because i want to go i have a free item that expires on the 15th and they're having a the candle sale right now and some select body care i don't want a lot of stuff but i do want the new summer candles like i can't wait to the semi-annual sale the semi-annual sale is gonna be on june 3rd which is like the day after the girls is uh birthday which is so anyways yeah that's where i'm at right now i want to go get at least two of this uh summer candles that i want to burn because i'm almost out of my martha stewart and i just don't want to burn champagne toast right now i don't know i just need candles so i want to go get that and i want to get two body washes um the emerald mist and then the among the clouds those are the ones i've been spraying um right now and i won't need the body washes because I have a body a base body wash that I've been using the OGX coconut. So really I don't need that. I probably need to just hone it in and just get my two candles, my free fun size body care item and leave it at that. And my free uh fun size, well travel size, you know, travel size item might be a body wash. Because I I I'm I feel like I'm good on sprays, not a spray that I want unless they have uh like the summer sprays out which i want to look and see if they have the summer collection out yet but i'm waiting for uh semi annual sale to get all that stuff um so yeah i think i'm just gonna go ahead and run the bath and body works i was trying to talk myself out of it but tomorrow i have to go to target the baby need formula and i need to get some last minute like mother's day items um to go with my my mom's and my mother-in-law's uh bath and body works that i already bought um so yeah and we have to go to my mom's house tomorrow at like three. And Alex got to do some running around to get my gift because I want my Pandora charm. And you know, so it's just best I go right now. And I got to go to the beauty supply store because I want to do the girls' hair tonight. Um, because it's gonna be the weekend, so I want to pull an all-nighter, knock their hair out, and um, you know, do it real cute or whatever. So that's the plan for now like i'm going to bath and body work see what they have pick up a little few items not go overboard not go overboard because what i have right now is enough i just didn't buy i don't buy the body washes and it's just like but i shouldn't buy the body that's the reason i don't buy the body washes because i get bored of the body wash i be wanting to switch my body washes out so it's really just not smart for me to even get the body wash and i'm talking to y'all but i'm really talking to me don't buy no body washes, Michaela. You don't use those. You get bored easily. So that's all I'm saying to myself right now. <clears throat> so yeah, I, um, that's my plan, and I, that's what I that's what I'm I'm trying to do. So yeah, Saturday we have plans. Like I said, we're gonna go to Target. I really want to go to the Crumble. We have a Crumble now, and I really want to go experience Crumble and take the girls to. <laughs> if we have time after uh target me and the girls might ride to crumble but i don't know us going places from this side of town like i live in suburbia pretty much like that's like going into the city and like <sighs> but we might do it because we don't get out I, well i don't get out the house much and i don't know i don't know i just i just want to do it but i want to go take the girls to crumble i want to experience crumble and i want to um and then of course sunday we're going to church and alex want to take all the moms to lunch after church so it's just gonna be a busy weekend so i need to just go and do what i want to do today which is running my butt to bath and body works and get me some stuff and that's that because i also want to kind of like clean up tomorrow a little bit not like deep clean but you know like the weekly the weekly minimum clean like i need to you know run that mop across that kitchen floor that broom um same with the bathrooms you know them toilets them sinks like all that stuff got to get touched every week non-negotiable so that's also something else i want to do tomorrow <clears throat> so i can light my candles in peace but um but yeah i just wanted to check in i'll see y'all when we get to the store and see what kind of stuff they have.
Yeah, that was a waste of my doggone time. That store looked like a bomb went off in it. And I'm just disgusted. Like, I gave y'all a clip of what... <coughs> it's time for me to go home. There's too many people. But anyways, they had some of, I don't know. I don't know what was new and what was not new, but I just know it wasn't the new stuff that I had in my car because I wanted like summer boardwalk, beach or beach boardwalk or beach something. I don't know. It just wasn't, I wanted under the sun with the banana note. They ain't had that out. And I'm, I'm trying to ask the girl and I'm like, hey, do y'all have a summer? Oh, summer going to be on the other side, on this side, on the other side. That's not customer service. I need you to put them baskets down and come show me the summer collection. Because what I'm seeing is what y'all don't have. But I know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to um, do my order online and have them shipped. Because they do doing the free shipping. So, it's sad you got to take people out the equation to have a better shopping experience. But it is what it is. <coughs> so, I just live out there. I didn't even get my free item. Because, like, just ship me my free item. I don't got time. Um, my mama said that when she do the pickup order here, that they, um, they do well. But one time I did a pickup order and all my stuff went in there. So it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. But it say available at the store. So I don't understand why it's not on the shelves. Like, where's the stuff? Because it says it's available on your store for pickup. So why isn't it out? But whatever, I'm just gonna order my stuff online. I feel like I want me a coffee for my troubles. Um, I'm going to the beauty supply store to get the girls' this hair stuff. I kind of want to do something different and um, do some braids or something, but I don't know how to braid, so I really need to stick to what I know and do these fashion twists and get them some beads to put at the ends um, and call it a day. So that's what we're doing. Y'all, I guess I done made soup. I don't know. I just did some chicken breast, some chicken broth, some cream of uh, chicken, condensed soup, some milk, a ranch seasoning pack, and some potatoes and spinach. And this is what I have. And this is what we eat for dinner. I don't know if this is a soup or what. I just felt like it would go together and taste good. I need to warm up some bread. So this is what I got for this here. I think I'm gonna do the main colors like pink, orange, yellow, and green and blue. So like these four. I think I'm gonna do pigtails after I do the passion twist. I think that's what I want to do. I bought them some new bonnets too. The um extra long kind to see if that'll maybe help it stay on their head longer because they be waking up with nothing on their head. And this is the hair I'm gonna twist in to do hair. So I will show y'all how everything turns out once I'm finished. It's gonna take a while, so see y'all later. And this is how their hair turned out. Turn to the back. Isn't that pretty? Turn around. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> Just gonna do the melody. It has a nice shine to it. It's so perfume. Too crazy. 
lightly misting my hair. I don't want to drench my hair because uh, I'm going to take these twists down by three. So I just need like a dampness. Dampness to it. To loosen it up, work it. Okay. I'm really going to use my IGK Mistress Hair Balm. I gotta get me some of this. This is my favorite. I like the Amica. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is literally it, y'all. I gotta replace this. I think I saw that Ulta sells in the Sephora. I have a $10 off 50 at Ulta that I want to use. I'm just using it to add moisture. It doesn't really um, do anything too crazy, but see how it's just loosening up my, my hair. I'm working it nice to the touch. And then I'm going to put it in with this. Amika Shine and Moisture Cream. I'm out of these two. I use these Beauty Topic Rose Water Facial Wipes with Lively E just to give myself a superficial cleanse. Take me too long to do these twists. But we're gonna I'm gonna cleanse and I don't wanna wait, so I'm gonna open up this La Roche Jose foaming. Doesn't come out as foam, comes out as liquid. And I have a nice lather. Hydration toner by Vanilla and Co. <clears throat> I like this toner a lot. Very lightweight, but very moisturizing. And then let's do my Purity Essence by Philosophy. Oh, that's dry. Let's pick my scent for today. Let's just do pastel on um, the skies for now. I think I'm gonna do among the clouds. Um, once I take a shower and get dressed for the day, but this is just to start my morning off. Okay, let's do the Nia Cinema by the Ordinary. And then let's do my hyaluronic acid by the ordinary. I think I have a backup for this. Let me throw this out. 
Okay, let's do the Daily Brightening Serum by Gut Molecules. I'm trying to decide if I like this one better than the Discoloration Serum. Um, I guess I do like them both in their own right because the Discoloration Serum did uh, diminish my dark spots. Maybe like... I guess in the way that I use it, like use one first and then once you get your desired like, you know, brightness or your decide your um discoloration to the level you want it, non-existent or just like barely there because these are like moles and scars, so they did as much as they could, but they were way darker. And the same over here, like when we had to wear those masks, I had masks and they so bad, but um. But you know. Okay. Kapari. I love this face cream. It's so lightweight. Coconut face cream. It's not only like a little bit. It's not. But one thing I don't like is like it doesn't give you that glow. Like that shine. I need me a face oil. I think. Because my face is not as shiny as I would like it to be. And then the ginseng eye cream. My well, baby thinks I'm on the laptop with her until she starts crying every time she hears me talking. Baby. Like, how dare you not be talking to me? And then my Hangover RX SPF. Is my skincare and then I just like to do like a little moisture spritz of the Mario Badescu this is the coconut one and everybody talking crap about this is basically scented water and it's like duh who don't know that who doesn't know that we like it there's a place for scented water because when the avian spray bottles had the girls in the show call, I thought that was weird. Like, it's literally water. At least that's like flavored. Well, not flavored, but like scented. Mmm. -hmm. Skincare done. I'm gonna get me a coffee. I'm gonna get some breakfast up in this piece. I did the girls' hair last night. Why they be in such a hurry to like take off the bonnet? Like, they like, can we take off our bonnet so you can mess up your hair? You're in there. They're on the boss bouncy balls. Like one one bonnet already sliding back. Like I can see her whole edges exposed. So it's just like, no. What's honestly blowing me is Whataburger, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A. They all running like the same price. Except I feel like I low-key feel like McDonald's is a little more expensive. And they are the worst quality. Like it's it's $21 for all of our breakfast. I got two. And when I say it's good and it's made to order, it's fast food, but like it's made to order fast food. They're cooking it. It's fresh. It's hot. That's not what you get there. And the pancakes are huge at Whataburger. So I got two pancake platters. So it's going to come with three big pancakes and a side of bacon. $4.59 each. Wow. Then... I got a taquito. I think those are like $2 made to order. And then I bought Alex. I got Alex a breakfast burger uh, combo meal with a sweet tea. I got sweet tea. So I hope that like the sweet tea is good. Because they had lemonade. I just didn't want no lemonade. So mm, sweet tea it is. 
sweet tea and iced coffee it is for the hydration this morning um but yeah like why is mcdonald's so expensive like i i do not go to mcdonald's like they have lost their mind like you might as well come to a water burger because it used to be like you know they have the dollar menu and it's just like you pay that crappy you pay that that cheap price for that you know not so good food but baby boo i don't have time to be paying water burger prices for mcdonald's quality no that's madness so i just came from a little local hometown water burger like amy said I'm about to give Ivy a bath, so her outfit is gonna be, it's warm, but it's still, I'm gonna do her monogrammed uh, long sleeve, these pink little like joggers, pink socks, all pink everything basically. Um, We're all sick, so she has a bit of a cough. Yeah, I do have a glow, I don't know. I just want my skin to be, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm about to give her a bath. Um, and then we're gonna run to Target and Dollar Tree to get some gift bags and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, yeah. Oh, when I get home, I think I'm gonna do like a powder foundation routine because I want to do my makeup, but we have it, it's a crawfish seafood boil. So I don't want to um, do like liquid makeup. I want to do like a foundation, like powder routine. Cause it's, you know. Y'all yeah, know it's Mother's Day. So for my cousin, I think I'm gonna do this mini gingham um, trio. She said she doesn't have this one. So I have the body wash, the lotion, and the spray. Um, I have this cotton candy collagen lip mask. Um, and then I think I'm gonna do this peach sheet mask and like that's just gonna be her little token of love i'm going to target of course to get our moms so i'm gonna give my mom the butterfly um just because like she loves butterflies and it smells like her the notes in this one is raspberry nectar iris petals and airy vanilla my mom always has like a nice light fruity floral type of scent like all her scents are pretty much similar um my mother-in-law she doesn't really have a signature scent so she just wear what i buy her so i'm gonna give her the gingham love um it's sugared berries blushing freesia and meringue i like this one but it's not my favorite it's a little mature for me i'm pretty childish i like cotton candy type scents so i don't care <laughs> so i'm gonna give her this one i'm gonna try to see if i can find like a um, there's these bracelets I want from Target and I'm going to see if I can get like a, you know, a nice little like theme going kind of like what I have going for my cousin. Y'all know I love to do like matching, like, you know, colored themes. So probably go red, pinkish for my mother-in-law and like purple, blue for my mom. And um, we'll see what we find. So I guess I'm going to show y'all. That's why I brought y'all in here. This is what I use right now. The Johnson's bath time, bedtime. Um... I put a little of this in her water and then this is the shampoo I use and this is like what I use I mainly co-wash her hair like I do mine um, I use this co-wash and then sometimes you know I do an oatmeal bath when her skin's dry but yeah that's the baby products I'm using and not baby products but that's what I use on her and then for Softening conditioner is so good. It is so, so good. It has her curls like popping, her hair moisturized, so she don't need much. So y'all, this is her hair after being co-washed. Um, as you can see, like her curls are tight. So I'm about to just put a little bitty dollop of the pattern beauty in there and comb it through. So about this much. This is how she looks. You gonna show them your outfit? Her little socks have her, hey. Her little socks have her initials on them, if y'all can see. That's you. Yeah, that's you. That's you. So first, we'll target more formula. <clears throat> I bought the Berry Melon Lemonade candle for my mother-in-law. And I bought the... 
peony cherry blossom for my mom. I thought she liked the sweeter scent. Um, and then I bought these bracelets. What, Ivy? Mother, daughter for my mom. And it says, mothers and daughters are forever connected by heart. And then I got this mom one for my mother-in-law. So cute. And it just says, moms don't ever give up. It doesn't matter how many times we mess up. They are there with no heart. Here's the words listening. We need to talk. <laughs> <coughs> and then I got me a body wash to try. This is the Saltair Pink Beach Serum Body Wash. Um, coconut oil. I don't know. But it smells good. I don't know what the notes are, but it's like kind of just like a sweet, a sweet scent. So, I'm about to use this now, actually, in the shower. Um, from Dollar Tree, I got some tissue paper, pastel colored glitter, and then I just got some white bags, because they didn't have anything super cute. Some lip balm for the girls, some lip balm for my mother-in-law and my cousin. Cause I don't think my mom used to touch that kind of a phone. I got a hand cream duo, and then like this to decorate um, my mom and my little house bag. And then I just got some cards. And like I got a card for my cousin, but it says to my aunt. <laughs> I think she'll get it. She knows she's my cousin. But it's just a. It just says Mother's Day is uh, all about those women in our lives who loved and shaped us into who we are today. And without a doubt, you're someone who's been there and cared for me throughout my life. You've made such a difference for me, and I'm so grateful. And I'm just going to say, like, love you, cousin. So, like, she gets, like, it. And then for her, like, little minis, uh, Bath and Body Works um, stuff, I think everything will fit in here. So, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to build out these gifts. Because I'm taking my mom her gift today because she might go to lunch with us tomorrow. But sometimes, I don't know. It's no, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all could even hear me because it was on TV. I have this watch of mini mouse. Let's see if I can. I think I wanted to, I think I wanted to do a hand cream for her. Oh, her lip gloss. And I think I want to do a hand cream for her. I don't want to do a hand cream for my mom. My mama don't like all this stuff. Let me do a hand cream. And then I'm good at tissue. Alex is in the shower, so I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and come in here and get ready. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick foundation routine is what I'm gonna do. What primer do I wanna? <coughs> I'm about to open up this Hangover RX because that's what I want to use. I'm tired of not using it. So, Hangover RX is up first. Come on. Yeah, that first time use takes a while. It's just like a lotion kind of like. But I kind of like use them hydrating primers it's not super hydrating it's just moisturizing i like using those 
um, because um, it's like tacky, but like not disgustingly tacky. Um, for concealer, I gotta go get my Anastasia. I'm about to go in with concealer first. When doing my foundation routine, just because like it's pretty much the only cream that I use, and this is the I'll show you. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer, and I used to shade 16. I love that coverage. That is so beautiful. Um, I've never used the pink powder during my foundation routine, but I kind of want to try it today. So I'm gonna go in with the Ben Nye Pretty Pink Powder just because I want to experiment how this looks today and just smoothing that back out don't know if I hate it let's see I'm just gonna keep going <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going with it and see um, it just looks looks really pink. I mean, it's blurred. It's doing what it's supposed to, honestly. But it's just I've never seen it unfinished like this. So let's see. But what I like to use as a powder foundation is actually not like a powder foundation. It's the dark deep. Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. <coughs> and it looks like this. And I just like to take like a pretty dense stippling brush and just um, go in. I forget who this one's about, Alomar Cosmetics. So I just like to blow the brush up and then just See how the coverage just go to town. My face. Because I like the, I don't like like the super, I like this mineralized skin finish because it has like a satin type finish. It's not too crazy. It's like, it's not too crazy like matte. It's like a nice, I don't know. I just like it. I like the I like the, I like the consistency of it. I am gonna go over those places where I put my concealer, but I'm not gonna go when the brush has the most product on it. Like I, I focus the main powder like when I load it up like this on like the facial parts. And then as I, you know, as the powder diffuses down, then I go over the concealed parts to make everything kind of flush and nice. Cause I don't want to lose the brightness that I have. And it's so pretty, isn't it nice? Just love the finish. So pretty. Love this as a foundation. Bronzer, I'm gonna go to my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I use the shade 310 Deep. 310, sorry, tan. It's just tan. And I just like to, I don't know, when I do a powder foundation routine, um, I don't like to use a lot of cream, but pretty much the only cream I like to use is uh, the concealer, clearly. And then the rest, I just like to use powders because I just like to keep it in the powder family. Let's 
I forgot how much I love this bronzer, but it's like the perfect shade. It's the perfect amount of coolness and warmth. I'm gonna do the Juvia's Place Volume 5. Um, I think I'm gonna do the melon shade right here if I like it. And with powders, like just don't don't feel like you're blending too much because you just have to blend everything really well because you're working with a lot of powders. You see, and just kind of just work everything until you like the way it looks. That's pretty. That's really pretty. That is really pretty. We'll have a new highlight that I haven't showed y'all yet because I haven't done the Sephora haul. But I have the um, Rare Beauty Positive Light Illuminator, Illuminator in the shade Mesmerize. How freaking cute. It's like an icy pink. Yes, me, I'm using that today. When y'all see it in the Sephora haul, pretend like you ain't seen it before. Oh, it's exactly what I thought I was gonna give. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so icy. It's like an icy pink. Give you that manufactured glow. That is beautiful. I'm put it back in the box. Am I tripping on my brows giving Hilda from Hey Arnold? They're not connected. They just look so. I need some eyeshadow or something because, like, mm, I don't know. It's happening. I feel like I want a little more oomph in here. Yeah. Shadow. I want to keep the shadow real simple. And when I want to stay simple, I like to do my natural nudes, the natural nudes by Too Faced. And we're going to keep it matte because that's what I like. This is what I like. I'm going in with maple. Like that tan caramely color in the crease. I'm gonna up the ante with cocoa in the corners. And then I'm going to do petal and seashell on the lid. It's like a pink and a nude. This is my tried and true. I love her. And then I'm gonna do glistening snow on the inner corner. <laughs> Just for that glow. Actually, I wanna do a little bit of mesmerize. 
on top too because this is this is blinding Ooh. yes ma'am that is so freaking cute the hair looks great so rapid fire rapid fire this immediately yes this it comes out pink y'all it's so sweet it kind of smells like to me it smells like the pastel skies which is like smells like kind of candy almost like coconut kind of candy type of smell so i love this my skin feels really good i use the among the clouds and this one has the raspberry note and whipped vanilla clouds i use that i use this in my bikini area this is the body oil I used by Nicole Miller, the Vanilla Orchid. And I layered these scents, the Mod Vanilla with the Ariana Clouds, Ariana Grande Clouds. These are both by Ariana Grande, but that is what is on my body. And it has me glistening. <clears throat> Let me see if I can show y'all full body. So I have on the Tory Burch slides for flops. The crossbody Alex bought me. And this dress is from Forever 21. I've had it for so long. And that is it.